Halves Hand Arm Vibration Syndrome Hand Arm Vibration Syndrome halves, is an all-encompassing term to describe the signs and symptoms of disorder caused by vibration. This syndrome is also referred to as Vibration White Finger VWF. Halves consists of three components vascular, neurological and musculoskeletal. Each component can occur independently or as a mixture of the three. Often following medical examination, these symptoms are reported as injuries to blood vessels, nerves and muscles. Halves is an occupational hazard for any employees who are required, in the course of their working day, to frequently use industrial percussion or vibrating tools. Anyone who is regularly and frequently exposed to high levels of vibration in their daily work routine can suffer permanent injury, which can be severely disabling. The construction and demolition industry has the second highest incidence of VWF, vibration white finger. And there are up to 5 million workers in the UK exposed to vibration equipment at work on a day-to-day -day basis. There is no effective treatment. Prevention is the only cure. DITI Digital Infrared Thermal Imaging Temperature change associated with disease has been known for centuries. The development of instrumentation to produce thermal maps of large surfaces has provided a new approach to the study of body heat in health and disease. All thermographic images thermograms of the human body depend on the sympathetic control of skin blood flow. The major basis of clinical thermography is the correlation of temperature recordings with various conditions from disease and injury as it relates to autonomic function. Digital infrared thermal imaging is a non-invasive, no-contact method of screening the body for a multitude of health issues. Thermography screens the body for comparative changes in body temperatures. When screening for evidence of halves, our aim is to capture images of the blood supply to the hands, which can be badly affected following prolonged use of percussion tools. Test for you. The Test for You thermal imaging camera is designed for mapping and measuring surface temperatures. It is a sophisticated camera system which, unlike a traditional camera, is sensitive to infrared radiation rather than visible light. The images produced are called thermograms. Test for You are a company designed to bring the innovative screening technology to you, the employer, with our mobile service. All staff are clinically trained and are fully qualified thermographers with accreditation from the Faculty of Occupational Medicine and the Health and Safety Laboratory. We work together with the named person to comply with the company policy for HAVS. If you do not have a HAVS policy, we can provide a test for you joint policy and protocol in conjunction with the requirements of your company. Mobility and basic requirements the test for you camera system has been designed to operate in a typical clinical environment. The system requires a stable surface and dry workspace at temperatures between 10 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. The test for you system also requires standard domestic power supply with at least two plug points, 13 amp 240 volts. Privacy is required in accordance with medical health protocols. A water supply is required in order to replenish the cool hand bath as required. We have the ability to set up a clinic at your place of work, be it on site, in a porter cabin or in company offices. We save you lost man hours. Taking the service to your workforce, the consultations take between 20 to 30 minutes per man. This equates up to a maximum of 16 screens in any one working day. We provide the required health questionnaires, qualified screening staff and a doctor's report along with scan images five to seven days from the screening date. Setting up the clinic. The camera is firmly attached to the stable mounting. It takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes to set up the camera and ensure that all protocols are adhered to. The camera and auxiliary equipment is supplied specifically to enable a plug and play system. 
This means that setup time and camera calibration is kept to a minimum in order to reduce waiting time and ensure the minimum disruption to your working schedule. Examination protocols and patient requirements. The temperature of the room should be such that the patient is not perspiring nor shivering. The preferred temperature range is between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Any temperature changes throughout the course of an examination must be gradual and must be recorded as a part of the screening records. The patient should be at ambient temperature for 5 to 10 minutes in order to record the baseline images. During this period, all jewellery should be removed if possible. The patient is welcomed to the consultation and given a health questionnaire. It is important that the employee to be screened completes the required health questionnaire. This serves several purposes. One is to ensure that the thermographer is aware of any relevant information prior to commencement of screening, which has a bearing on the individual's score on the Stockholm workshop scale. Dependent upon the responses to the questions, a further extended questionnaire may be required. This is usually a good time for any questions to be asked concerning the procedure. Patient information relating to symptoms and history is recorded. The patient is made to feel as comfortable as possible. The thermographer knows the best positions, technique and thermal focusing, but this can be made much more difficult if the patient does not cooperate fully. This short time period also helps the employee's body temperature to stabilize to the required protocol recommendation. Procedure A full explanation is given before the imaging is started in order for the patient to understand what is going to take place. It is important that the patient is reassured that there is no radiation, no contact with the body and that nothing will be felt. The patient is told that the test will involve a number of images being taken. Each view only takes a couple of seconds and that the whole exam is completed in approximately 10 minutes. The patient is required to hold their hands above a board with designated markings to ensure that the required positioning is maintained and repeatable in order for images of the hand to be recorded, one palmer and one dorsal. When the thermographer is satisfied with the quality and sharpness of the images, these are recorded as the baseline. The patient puts on a pair of gloves and the hands are then immersed in cool water. Protocol states temperatures between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius for the duration of one minute. The temperature of the room and the water are checked and recorded at the beginning of each individual consultation. The thermographer removes the gloves, ensuring that the hands do not rub together and images of the hands are recorded immediately, again one palms up and one palms down. It is important that the patient does not scratch or cause any irritations to the skin. This sequence is repeated at 3, 5, 7 and 10 minutes as required, dependent upon the individual's response to returning to the baseline images. Post procedure. Upon completion of the study, the thermographer will review the images with the patient. This is to ensure that the necessary images have been captured and that they are well focused, framed and positioned within the protocol requirements. At this stage, the temperature representation in colours will be explained. All significant thermal findings will be reported and the written report also includes all images taken. On completion of the day's screening, the thermographer will record and file each patient's details, ensuring that the questionnaire and scan images are correctly loaded into the dedicated file for the individual. EMI and results. The results are received in five to seven days from the screening date. The employee receives two copies of the written report along with two copies of the images taken, which are available to the employer with written consent from the screened individual. This is in accordance with the Privacy of Medical Records Act 1998. The thermographer is available to answer any questions or queries that may arise from the results received. test for You recommend periodic screening of employees as a means of maintaining a proactive approach to the health and well-being of your workforce 
in relation to halves. A full management plan of employees post-screening is given to the company, along with all appropriate and relevant paperwork, to ensure the correct procedures are followed, as stated in the Control of Vibration at Work Regulations 2005.